Hi guys, happy Tuesday. So, perfectly ready. And yes, they do need to be, oh, that's just my fingerprints, so they do need to be rolled like this. It smells so good. It smells so good, it's so happy. It makes you just so happy. So, I'm very excited about that, I'm very excited. It's the best blend. That and that goddess perfume. Incredible. Totally incredible. So, what am I wearing today? I'm wearing London by Lou. Is that not gorgeous? You are amazing, Lou. I love, love your creations. So much love and just creative rebellion just pouring out of it. I love it. Oh, and it's getting windy again. I'm so sick of these storms. So yeah, I've been looking into aromatherapy certification, which is, you know, not really something that you can do here in the United States, um, but you can get a certificate saying that, you know, you've done so and so and so, and you're certified under whatever school that you do, that you choose. Um, the cheapest I have found is 500 and they do do a financial aid, but I don't know why you would want to do a financial aid on $500. I think that's ridiculous. Now, if it's, you know, like schooling, definitely financial aid, like, you know, medical school. And this is not medical school, this is aromatherapy, um, holistic healing, all that good stuff. So. But it's coming a long way, especially in science. It's amazing. So yes. Oh, I just feel so calm and just fuzzy and warm. Almost to the point of sweating. Don't know what, uh, how, I don't know how these work. I don't know how they work, but they do. It's incredible. It's so incredible. So last night, a strange dream. Strange, I feel really short strange dream I had to, yeah I have to tell you guys this um, okay so you guys all know about my house last night I went into the basement on my Facebook page uh, facebook.com slash Ryan Nicole specialist you can see the video of me going out down into the basement it's very strange it's just very strange when that that hole happened we boarded it up and we cemented it it literally went poured through all the you know water and everything from torrential downpours that we get and the flooding and more flooding coming today so it's very crazy we do now have a lake not a pond over there and we have a sister lake over there and I'm pretty sure I have a third triplet triplet lake going on that way to the south or to the north so I just, it's south actually very strange but so the dream I do not know who the lady is, so I'm just gonna guess it was the realtor that I was speaking to. So she kept telling me it was win it was winter. It was December when we moved in. We moved in here the day before Christmas, December 30th or no, December 24th. We were here, moved in like 20 years ago or whatever, 17. Not a long time ago. So I, you know, I had asked my questions to the realtor. When we did move in, you know, my first questions were, um, has it ever been reported haunted? Has anybody died? Legally, she has to disclose that information for a period of six to six months to a year prior to all of what has happened. She did not. But we found out, you know, that it was an old schoolhouse, um, all this crazy stuff, you know, the murder, suicide on the land. And then um, what I took you guys on that tour, that little tour, tour de basement, um, the original foundation. That's how big this house was. That's the original. So behind that wall, I don't know what's back there. I don't know what's back there. So I can't get back there. Um, I'm too big to fit in that tiny space, that crawl space. Um, but anyways, that's the original foundation of the, of the basement very tiny it's been added on um, 
so I, in my dream, the realtor, she's talking to me and she's telling me, do you realize, do you realize your deed? I'm like, what? And she's telling me over and over. She goes, I don't, I don't know if she used the word matricide. I don't know what that means. I don't know what matricide means. I, I think it, it's like it, something to do with marriage. Um, but she made a point to tell me, um, remember what had happened in the deed. Every couple that lives here always moves out or murder suicide after a certain period of time living here. And it always is, it always ends up being the month of October through November and December. Now, it's really strange. Really, I say this gives me chills. Like really big chills. So, Mr. Uh, Mr. Apple that lived here came in, um, it was October, October, shot his wife, went outside, and then I think he hung himself or shot himself, so, not in this house, on this land, so the house then later was moved and, you know, it was bulldozed down, and then this house was literally moved here, and just, they plopped it down. It's, so it's crazy. It's very crazy. I did not think I was going to dream last night, but I did. I, I asked Thoth and I asked Isis to bring me a dream um, it, to help in some kind of way. Um, so now I know. Something is wrong with that basement. I don't know what. It has given us trouble. So I've talked about it before, but I mean it's it's not so much giving us trouble anymore but now that dream and me going back down there because I had to clean it all up and that was actually after I cleaned it all up and I filled in the giant hole again because it keeps settling and it keeps coming in you know a little bit of water a little bit whatever it was just the strangest freaking dream I've ever had it was so I don't know what the word is cryptic it was a very cryptic, uh, unnerving, a very unnerving, but it was just very strange. The way she, she relayed her message to me, it was just very odd, very, very odd. So I have some, uh, some work that needs to be done. Um, so I'm going to try to put piece together like a mini documentary on the basement. It, I have gotten so much, so many emails. I, I did not know I would get emails over that video, that short video of the basement. Um, I did not know that you guys loved the basement that much. I've gotten it. It reminds people of uh, Ouija Origins of Evil with the secret room behind the wall uh, to the Blair Witch. <laughs> so it's just, it's, it's cool. It's very cool. Um, those jars down there are original, like, 1920 mason jars. They do look black. Uh, they're green, but they do look black. So, I don't know. It's just a very strange place. Very strange. I've never gotten any EVPs. I've tried. I've tried EVP sessions down there doesn't work. I can't do that. I'm not that whatever, technically inclined. Yeah, technical or whatever you want to call it. So I just don't know what to do. How to, you know, I know how to clear and cleanse, you know, and trap it and put it in a crystal and, and give it to somebody in a plant as a gift. Thank you, Blue Witch. I love you. You're just as kind as I am. That was great. That was great. And she is going to get scratched with the chicken feet. If she doesn't watch her mouth, she will get scratched with the chicken feet. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to put it in a crystal. Whatever is down there. And just, I don't know, go from there. I'm going to take another tour down there and take you guys with me. And it's just cool. It's very cool. It's creepy cool. It was like movie-ish, cool-ish 
kind of, I don't know, just, it creeped me out. And I had it on mute. And I didn't hear, because I don't, I can't stand myself to talk. I can't hear myself talk. I hate it. So I had it on mute, and it was still, it was like, it, it was just creepy. It had that, like, Blair Witch vibe with the shaky and all that good stuff going on. But it was fun. It was very fun. Very fun to watch. And, you know, with no, no nothing. Um, I mean, if, you know, if there were some things just placed around, which different odd, just oddity objects, like a, a, a nasty, like, moldy Ouija and a, like a dirty, nasty, ugly clown doll. All of that. That would be really cool. So. The shelf. That shelf. Yeah, that does remind me of Ouija Origins of Evil. And no, nobody can film in my house. So. But it was, it's very cool down there. I, I just, I, I like to see that. That kind of, uh, that kind of, uh, it's a very raw footage. I love that. So, no editing or nothing. I don't know how. Especially on that goddamn giant thing that you tap. Tablet. There, there we go. I'm blonde, honestly. I think I'm naturally blonde. It just keeps staying, getting whiter and whiter. But, and then in Undol, it was even more crazy. Um, Hathor and Sachet they actually took, had me conjure all of these goddess perfumes, the oils that everybody already has, and ethically charged them again. And they kept it, Sachet means secret, she's the oil perfume woman, goddess, sorry, goddess, and she wants to keep them secret. So I said, okay, we, we made a very good connection right there. So that was very cool. So. Giving them hard breaths was amazing. It was a very incredible. Um, Thoth and Isis, they were extremely pleased. Isis was extremely pleased with the goddess perfume. She, I don't know why. So she was very pleased with that. She was very pleased with everything that's going on. Um, so, you know, I did my confessions and the scales, they balanced pretty well. Um, kinda, so. So yeah, it's just been, it's been very, very, uh, the last two, two days have just, giant weight, just lifted, so, it's just, it's been amazing, it's, it's nice to get back and, you know, with uh, Talking Board Historical Society, I'm very, very happy to uh, be back, and it's just, it's very great, it's a very great thing. So I'm still taking Merch's advice. Take a step back, breathe, and remember it's all bullshit. Love you, Merch. Very much. So, but yeah. All right, guys. Those are my experiences from last night and my dream and oil. So, um, also another blend. My Thoth oil and my Serenity oil in a candle. It's like Xanax for the entire, f the entire house, especially for the dog too. The, just the smell, just the smell. I don't even know how to describe the smell. So it's sweet, very sweet, too sweet. I want to eat it. So I just I love it. So all right, guys. I hope you guys have a great day. More oils. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get out today that bad. It's that bad. There were like seven tornado touchdowns last night south of me. Thank God I was asleep. Thank you, Doxy Lamine. Thank you, thank you. I, I hate tornadoes. I know one will get me. That or Jaws. So, one of the two. That's how I will die. Guaranteed. Jaws or a tornado. It will suck me out. Unless I keep my house clean, so I have got to go clean. I don't know. I've always heard tornadoes won't touch a clean house. Well, let's hope that's true. <laughs> Alright, guys. I love you all very much, and I can't wait for you guys to review my oils. You, could, you don't have to. 
just as long as I get an email. And I've gotten tons, so thank you. I love it. I love that you love your oils. So, I will see you all tomorrow for Witchy Wednesday, and we'll do something more. Something... I have something special for somebody very special. Tanya D. I will be emailing you here in just a little bit. Surprise, you're the winner of the day. Alright guys, I love you all very much, and thank you guys for watching. My throat is going out. And I will see you all tomorrow. Everybody be safe, and I love you all. Hi guys, happy Tuesday. So, last night I blended one of the best fucking blends I have ever blended in my entire life. So this is Goddess Perfume in the nice little clear bottles. This is the best smelling stuff in this entire fucking world. I don't know how I did it. Don't know how I did it. Very simple ingredients. Very simple. Yes, only three essential oils altogether. And not seven. So Those might be up for sale. These were made for two very special people. The people that actually uh, order for me. My line of uh, oils and everything that I need. They order and it's always there. It's, everything's perfect. They're the most sweetest people in this world a pharmacist and another pharmacist so those are for her them too so if you guys want those those are up for sale too <clears throat> and those are 15 but those are so amazing so today and last night I've been researching aromatherapy certification to become a certified aromatherapist but in the United States it is not recognized by the FDA or the National Health Association as an actual certification so you can't become actually certified, but you can become certified, as in having a certificate of aromatherapy. So that is something I'm looking into. It's, it's crazy amazing. It's fun. It's awesome. It's just all of this. It's just, it's so powerful. I never, ever guessed how powerful this all could be. So today I want to do joy oil. And this oil, it's actually, it makes you feel very warm and fuzzy. And it even gives <laughs> um, a euphoric, it's almost like an intoxicating uh, feeling when applied to pressure points. So the wrists, God, they look really dark. I'm out in the sun too much. So pressure points to the wrists. There, the nape of the neck, the soles of the feet, the third eye. Any pressure points? Nip of the neck, did I say that? Yes, I think I did. So, sterile, sterile, very sterilized. So, I just cannot believe the goddess oil slash perfume ended up that great, so I'm very, very happy. And I am wearing today another piece of London, which is a chakra balancing, which you guys will see later. So I'm very excited for that. So, all right. Getting into the aromatherapy was really, really cool. You have your top notes, you have your middle notes, you have your bottom notes. And actually realizing what the bottom and the top and the middle notes do and how they blend, it's incredible. It really is incredible. So, this is Joy Oil, or my intoxicating oil, as I want to call it. So, this is what I was telling you guys about. All right, so my top notes, I have three main top notes, and each is one drop each, so. And it actually might turn into, I don't know. So yes, it's sterilized. All right, so one drop of your top note. Oops, one, two, shoot. All right, that's gonna be two drops. And it always ends up like this. Always. So there's two. Now one and one. Blah, blah. Can't talk. Hopefully. This does not come out like I have. Wait, one drop? Yes, one drop. Shoot. Two. Damn it, my top notes keep coming out in twos. Oh, that's incredible, though. That smells amazing. 
there. I'm gonna get that just that little bit off there. Okay, I guess the top notes are come on to come out in two. So two. Now my last one, tangerine. I have never used this one yet. Oh my god. It smells like grapefruit, only better. So tangerine. Alright. It's gonna come out in twos, I know it. Yeah, three. Damn it. Oh, maybe this will be even more euphoric. So those are the euphoric oh, essential oils right there. So three drops. I just totally redid the entire recipe. So there's the top notes. Wow, that smells wonderful. That seriously smells amazing. Alright, so my bottom note, well my middle notes. So that's the middle and then the bottom top, or no, that's the middle and the bottom notes. So, wow, I am running really low on ylang ylang. Alright, now wish me luck, one drop of each. They're starting to leak. Okay, let's see if I can get this. One. Oh. Alright. Oh, that smells amazing. So, one drop. This smells even better. One drop. One. Let's see, and then another drop. How am I doing on this one? Okay, good. One drop. I can't wait to see if it actually makes you feel euphoric. Actually, yes, it will because of this oil right here. <laughs> the two that the last, these three, well, these last four are also they, uh, whatever, they send signals to the brain and they release feel good. The feel good. So one drop. Shit. Yeah, two drops. So that will be my last bottom base note. So two drops. Okay. Oh my god. I do, I feel a little, I, th I feel a little, uh, funny. Not funny, but just a little different. Okay. I did get new oil droppers too, thank the gods. So let's try to find those little things before I knock everything over. Dying to make this. I wanted to make it before Witchy Wednesday, but no. It's gonna be today. I hate that noise. Makes me sick. that you guys let you ladies love your oils. I have had the best feedback from you guys with these blends. Okay. 
actually posted. I'm trying to get um oh a small I don't know something on my uh, YouTube channel with the basement, my basement that I you guys all know about that evil evil basement. A lot of people like it. They think it's very clean. My brother told me how clean of a basement I had. Thank you. I don't know if that was a compliment, but he said it was. So, I will take it as it is. <laughs> Thank you for the, for the compliment on the very clean basement, my brother. <laughs> it's funny. Alright. Oh my gosh. All right, get the excess off here. These, I love these clear bottles. They're just, they're perfect. They are perfect. Oh my God. Oh my freaking God. All right, it needs, let's see. We're gonna do two drops. So let's pray. I'm gonna pray to the goddess that I just get one drop in there. One. There we go. Perfect. Oh, that tops it off. Alright. I'm out of disinfectant wipes, so I am going to the store and I'm stocking up on an economy sized bottle of disinfectant wipes. I don't like it. I'm out. It's scary. It scares me. It makes me think that un th unclean things are just... Ugh. Yeah, no. I don't like unclean... uncleanliness. It is disgusting. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm like bitching about being clean and all that stuff. No, I'm not bitching. I'm just saying how important it is to be clean. I think they ever got told when they were small or little that if a tornado is coming, it will not touch a dirty house. That is what my mother has told me since I've been... since I can remember. I wonder how true that is. We've never been... Oh, and it just soaks into your skin. The almond oil, or the sweet, yeah, sweet almond oil just soaks into your skin. It's fucking amazing. I love it. So, and then, in aromatherapy, you roll them. The oils do need a bit of heat from your hands. You don't swirl them. You roll them. I love that noise. So we're really going to get it. I feel like I'm doing one of those. Yeah, I could never do that. I used to. The pacifier in the mouth? Yeah, you guys know what that is. Okay. Here it is. That is the blend. Joy. Joy oil. So it will be available in this and these sizes, the 10 milliliter ones too. Alright. Oh god, that smells just amazing. Alright, yes. It reminds me, if you guys know what psychic oil smells like, uh, this is very similar to psychic oil. Very similar. So... I am, I am impressed. I am very impressed with this oil. And especially with the amount of drops that came out. So that's very, uh, very helpful. Alright, there we go. I love it. Can't get enough of it on me. It's like witch's flying ointment. So, you can expect different... different experiences with different oils. 
So it's very cool. Very cool. I love it. It smells amazing. So. Alright, guys. That one is done. I'm covered in oil. It smells amazing. It smells clean, fresh. It has so many different notes to it. You can just smell each and every different note. And it does give you a warm, fuzzy feeling right in your heart center. So about right in my heart center. Yeah, you guys can't see me. But in my heart center is uh, just so much. Just it, it feels warm. If I just I feel good, I'm starting to sweat actually. Whew. Yes, not good. So, okay, guys, give me one second. I will see you guys in two seconds.